I've had to replace the interior light fitting on a Skoda Fabia Mark 1 due to the cover plastic all breaking up and becoming brittle. I was just cleaning it at the time and the little grill collapsed. So I took it off to repair it and before I knew it the whole thing fell in pieces. This is the result of cleaning the interior light fitting. I just slightly poked my fingers through the mesh bit. So I took it off the car, took it inside and attempted to take the little cover off. Initially overlooking the fact that it's held in with the switch, which you need to take off first before you get the cover off, I cracked it up the middle, but then I found it crumbled in my fingers anyway. The plastic was all brittle and had lost all its inherent strength. As you can see here, I'm hardly putting any pressure on this at all and it just snaps in two. So I bought a new reclaimed one on eBay. Here it is. This one comes with the extra microphone, which I don't need at the moment, but I could use in future if I want to install a telephone, a hands-free telephone. I'll leave that for a future project. So I'm going to fit that now. So I'll put the old one back in just to show you how to take it out. Right hand side reading light, left hand side reading light, currently in the open door position, turn it to zero, turns it off, and turn it again, puts the lights on. So when you've got it in the door open position, and open the door, the light comes on. And then when you shut it, the light stays on for a while, and then eventually just fades out and goes out on its own. Unless you start the car, then it'll go out straight away. I'll just speed that up. To take the lens cover off, it's hinged at the back just here and here and swings down from the front nearest the windscreen. You can use your fingers, or I'm using a little plastic trim tool here, just to bend it down from the front and then it releases from the little pegs at the back. It's got two further pegs in the centre. When you take it off you, you can see those, just here on the back of the lens. And they fit into clip slots just here on the unit itself. Here's the three lamps, reading light. You just stick your fingers in and pull these out. These are the little 501 12 volt W5W lamps. The centre lamps are 10 watt 41 millimetre long festoon lamp. Just lift that out carefully with a trim tool. When it's cold of course. Now there's just two Phillips screws to take out. These are screwed into a metal tab on the roof. You'll need a narrow shafted screwdriver. You'll have to jiggle them out a bit. And when they come out they'll probably fall out. As you could easily lose them in the interior of the car somewhere. If you're lucky they'll just go down onto the footwell. But they could get trapped at the side of the seat or something. So I'd stick your hand underneath as you're taking the screw out. I'll show you in real time taking this first screw out. I'll show you how difficult it is. First you unscrew it and then you keep screwing it and then it will come out. It seems to sort of hold itself in place. So you have to sort of jiggle it about a bit like that and just keep doing that until it comes out. It could do it being magnetic. Anyway they do eventually come out so don't lose them. Once you've got the screws out, you should be able to prise the unit down. It's held in by four clips. There's two of them visible with the lens removed at the front here. So you just need a suitable trim tool to prise them out, to lower them down a little bit, and then the whole unit should come out. Lower it down and then take the plug off the back. It's quite stiff. It's just held in place at the side. You just need to sort of yank it off or prise the side clips with a screwdriver. I'll just clean the contacts with some electrical contact spray. Let that dry. Fit the connector, it'll only go in one way. Push it in until it clicks. And then just push the unit in. It's quite a tight fit this one. I doubt you need screws, but nevertheless, 
and it's a lot easier to put the screws in. Just make sure you don't over tighten them as a little metal tag on the roof isn't very thick and you could easily strip it and then you'd have to get some bigger screws. Then simply fit the new lamps and then clean off the lamps with a rag to remove any grease that you've had on your fingers just so they'll last longer. Insert the two hinge prongs at the back of the lens which will align the two centre pegs and then just push home gently and it'll click nicely into place. That all works nicely. And here it is with the new Cambus Era 3 LED lamps that are fitted. Just got to fit those in the right way around. The red positive on the reading lights goes towards the centre light on both sides. The positive on the festoon light is on the left hand side of the car, nearest the switch. Put the lens back. Hey, that's a lot better. I'm happy with those. Yeah, definitely. Go through the various settings. Oh, I've got the door open so that won't work. All lights on. Our oh, reading lights won't work in that mode. Door open, no, um, off. Now they'll work. Yeah, reading lights on and off. Off, on. Super. Hope you enjoyed that. Jobs are good. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. And if you thought it was useful, consider subscribing. If you didn't like it, watch something else. I'll try and answer all your comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.